Uh, this is Adam from Powit.tv and Sailor Moon News. I'm here at Fan Expo with Katie Griffin. Hi! Nice to meet all of you, sort of, virtually. <laughs> So Katie is best known, at least to me, as the voice of Sailor Mars. She's done a lot of other work, so uh, really nice talking to you. Um, you've been involved in, in Sailor Moon for very long, almost throughout the entire show, um, although there was a short part where you weren't voicing, um, although Susan Roman's the only one that did the whole thing. You've actually recorded more episodes, as far as I can tell, because your character was around for longer. So working on the show for so long, um, how many things changed sort of throughout I and mean, going through different studios and different, different people? Um, well, actually, oh, I'll hold this. There were actually, there were actually a lot of changes logistically where we recorded. Uh, we had a few different directors. We have a director here, actually, John Stockard, directed toward the end of the series. But because we did so many episodes, um, it kind of all, it's kind of a bit of a blur. We. Uh, I, I don't even remember what kind of changes. We had the same producer d the whole time. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, I think things evolved and then we really became our characters. I think from the beginning we were sort of deciding who we were really going to be. And in, actually, initially when I, when I was Sailor Mars, Mercury and I sounded exactly alike. Hey, I just had a really super idea. What is it? Let's flirt with some of these cute crew guys, then have someone take our picture with them. Why, Ray? So we can show them to Serena when we get back and make her totally jealous. It'll be great. Uh, oh, Ray, I wish you two would stop feuding. So we had to differentiate and become these characters. So I think it took about 10, 10 episodes before we really settled into our voices and... I don't even think I answered their question. I think I just started rambling. There's all kinds of chaos. I'm a rambler. That's all right. That's good. Um, when you're going around, when you're just going about your day, do you ever find instances where people actually hear your voice and recognize you and say, "Oh my God, that's Sailor Mars." You see that kind of thing? Not really. I think if if people hear that I'm a voice actor and then I sort of list off some things, then they hear it in my voice. But every once in a while, I'll get recognized for something I did on camera. But uh, yeah, generally speaking, people, my voice doesn't really sound like my voice characters. I have to, I have to affect it like Mars, fire, ignite. I can't really do it right now because I've lost my voice at the con. But so yeah, no, not really. I'm rambling. You see. That, that, that's cool. So, so you can go through a grocery store and, and not be recognized despite your celebrity status. But do people recognize you for live action stuff? I mean, the things I recognize you from, are you afraid of the dark? And uh, there's like a juicy fruit commercial and bank ads and stuff. Do people just spot you for that kind of stuff around Toronto? You know what people do? People see me and they're like, I know you from something. And I, I hate to be the person saying, oh, it's probably from this or this. So I always say, oh, I, well, I live in the area or maybe we went to school together because maybe that's what the, maybe that's how they know me. But I have a feeling when people say, I know you from somewhere, it's probably from some Canadian show or a movie of the week or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Cool. Now, you mentioned that you've got two young boys at home. Do they watch any of the shows you're in? Do they find that very confusing to hear mom on the TV? No. I was Ruby, actually, on Max and Ruby as well, and I have no, I have no cool status at home. <laughs> it takes a lot to impress my five-year-old, Jet. Um, he, he's a little impressed by Bakugan. He doesn't mind that, but he hates my character, so there you go. <laughs> but he is coming to this on Sunday, and he is, his mind will be blown. He's a Star Wars junkie. So I've already taken a picture. I'm in with the stormtroopers right now. I'm going to get some stormtroopers to take pictures with them. <laughs> Very cool. It's good to have that inside track, I guess. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Um, now, you're, since you're still doing voice acting, you're still doing this kind of work, and, and Sailor Moon's almost yeah. 15, so I guess it's, uh, it's about 7, yeah, 20. 20th, 20th anniversary. So have things changed a lot uh, sort of in the dubbing uh, industry since, since you've started? That, well, they, it's changed slightly. We used to do it with something called the Rhythmo Band, where a Rhythma Band, I should say, where you would watch it, and it, as soon as it, your your line would hit the margin, you had to start speaking. It was very tricky, and it was handwritten and silly. Um, but now they do it all digitally. It's still it's like karaoke. So that's what that's what it is. As soon as the words change color, you start talking. So. Um, that's pretty much all that's changed. The money hasn't changed. It's still, 
low end. Um, but it's fun, and we always do tons of episodes, and, and I'm kind of, I love anime, so I'll always do it. And if Sailor Moon, if they ask us back, I just talked to, I was in Vancouver last week, and uh, I know the cast, everyone I spoke with would do it again. So let's, fingers crossed. All the fans are certainly rooting for, uh, you know, you guys coming back for the new dub, and we're very excited for that, so that should be really cool. Um, so it was really nice talking to you, it was really cool, and uh, I hope you have a great convention. Thanks, Adam, and uh, keep watching, and thank you so much for all your support, because Sailor Mars is, oh, I'm going to get all emotional, it's in the morning, but Sailor Mars was really important to me, and I think the rest of the cast feels pretty, uh, cl oh my god, it's ridiculous, I'm all emotional. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Well, thank you. Time for me to go. Oh, no, wait, I don't want you to do this. You don't have to protect me. Yes, I do. Protecting you and the crystal was my destiny. Just like being the princess has always been yours. Huh? See ya. Gotta teach these sleaze sisters not to mess with fire. Mars fire! Ah! Where'd they go?